people were thirsty for water there, and they grumbled against Moses. They said, Why did you bring us up out of Egypt to make us and our children and livestock die of thirst? And Moses cried out to the Lord, What am I to do with these people? They are almost ready to stone me. The Lord answered Moses, Walk on ahead of the people. Take with you some of the elders of Israel, and take in your hand the staff with which you struck the Nile, and go. I will stand there before you by the rock at Horeb. Strike the rock, and water will come out of it for the people to drink. So Moses did this in the sight of the elders of Israel. Now Moses does this, and he provides a lot of water for the people of Israel who are on the run at this point. They're thirsty, they're dry, and you have to remember, a lot of scripture was written in one of the most arid parts of the world, one of the driest parts of the world. And a lot of scripture speaks about water and how important it is to life. You see Jesus referred to as living water, as bringing water. You see blessings of God referred to as being rained down upon the people. It was so rare an occurrence for rain to fall or the water be freely given that for Jesus to use his imagery, the people understood automatically. Look, here's something we need. And we lose this today because rain falls so quickly and so easily. And we can go to the store and buy bottled water. We can turn on the tap and have water in our house. But we miss the point that water is something we can't live without. And just because we can access it easier doesn't mean that we don't need it any less. So, think about this week. You know, listen to some music that features water. Listen to some music that features Jesus described as water. Some of my favorite songs have that. So think about water this week. And think about the rain this week. What is God raining on you? How are God's blessings in your life and His protection in your life like water? Jumpstart your week.